Big Mouth Season 5 was released not even a week ago, and I've had time to watch, digest, understand, and appreciate all of the monsters that we saw throughout the new season. I think it's safe to say that we saw quite a few. With that, I thought I'd take a look at all of them and put them up against each other and see which one is the best, and which one's the worst. So, which monster will reign supreme? Well, let's find out. Before I go ahead, make sure you go over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and sweep me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. So without further ado, I'm BrainPilot, and here is Big Mouth Season 5 Every Monster Ranked. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers, so watch with caution. Before I kick off this list, I have to call out that we got to see the Anxiety Mosquito and the Depression Kitty, along with the Gratitude, very briefly in this season. Not enough to make it onto the list, and to be honest, I would have loved to have seen more of them, as when they've appeared in previous seasons, they've always had a huge impact. But now, jumping into the list. Number 8. Bonnie Coming in last place on this list is Bonnie. Bonnie was the newest hormone monster to grace our screens. The twin sister of Connie, she shared relatively similar personality traits to the Connie that we've come to see over the years. I feel we may get more of this character in Season 6 of the show, but for now, the brief introduction leaves her at 7th place on this list. Number 7. Mona Coming in 7th place, we have Mona. Mona is Missy's hormone monster. Although I love Thandie Newton's performance of this character, I just didn't feel she had that much screen time so it makes it harder to put her higher up on the list. The clear difference between Mona and Connie is always apparent, but she never gets the screen time I feel she deserves. We get glimpses of the side to Mona that actually makes it feel like Missy should put herself first, and I'd love for that to be explored more in the new seasons. Number 6. Sonya, the love bug Out of all of the new monsters, I think Sonya was most likely my least favourite out of all of them. For me, I just didn't feel the connection that strongly. When compared to Walter, who I feel had quite a bit more screen time, a witty edge, and a relatability, Sonya didn't quite have that magic spark and edge that I feel love has to it. Number 5. Rochelle, the Hate Worm Rochelle was a new introduction to the season, and she personified hate in the form of a hate worm for Missy. I thought the portrayal of this character was executed really well, and whenever she was on screen, you could sense the pure evil and hatred that the worm had within, through the visuals, the look, and the voice. Right at the end, when she turned into a love bug, it was a great arc for the monster and rounded up her story quite nicely because personally, I didn't expect that. Number 4. The Shame Wizard Now, this is a character that I absolutely love. The Shame Wizard's performance I think is always incredible. The voice acting and the personality that translates through the animation is exactly what you would imagine the voice and feeling inside of your head to be like. This character got a fair bit of time on screen throughout the season, and also a standalone episode where he was the antagonist, and I'm glad we got that. I think we'll come to see more of this character over the coming few seasons, as I think he is definitely cemented as a fan favourite. Number 3. Connie Connie normally comes in the top two, but this season, she's dropped a place. Maya Rudolph did a great job in Season 5 in really bringing this character to life in the way that she delivered Connie's lines, but I feel there was something missing with this character this season. I feel it was more to do with the writing. I didn't get the comedic edge and full-out sass that we've seen in the past. I feel I got more of that from the character that's about to come second in the list. Number 2. Walter, the love bug and hate worm Brandon Carl Goodman as Walter in this season of the show was absolutely fantastic. They provided both contrasts of emotions when it came to playing the love bug, but also the hate worm. We got to see the shadiness and evil nature that really did push Nick to the edge, but then we got to see them as the love bug. We got the light fluffiness and almost naivety that you get when you're in love or wanting to catch someone's attention. They were funny, playful, and really adopted the role well. A fantastic performance in the show, and one that I will definitely remember and hope that we see again. Number 1. Maurice I don't think any character will ever knock Maurice off of the top spot. 
He's as much of a face of the show as Nick and Andrew are. He's got a filthy mind, in fact, the filthiest of minds. And he's unique, as I don't know any other animated character that executes this type of role on screen as well as what Nick Kroll does. The voice, the jokes, the comedic timing, the relationship with Andrew, and the personification of a dirty mind is just spot on. I love Maurice as a character and can't wait to see more of him in season 6. So, there you have it. My ranking of all of the monsters in season 5 of Big Mouth. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.